Right, fifth year. So let me now um, analyse this this uh, quotation. Um, where blood would flow from stalks of corn if they were cut after sunset. Right, so same thing, putting it into our own words. Um, you've obviously got blood would flow, stalks of corn if they were cut after sunset. So your key words, you're thinking, what are my key words? What, what parts am I trying to change to show it's uh, contributed to its supernatural uh, reputation? So instead of flow, you could have come pouring out of. Instead of uh, after sunset, after the sun goes down, perhaps that's maybe too close to the words of the passage. Maybe uh, when darkness fell would even be better, simply because you're not using the word sun or sunset. And then if they were chopped instead of cut, so chopped instead of cut, right? There's your possible answer. If corn was chopped down at night, the stalks would bleed. And the third one, cats, rice and mice could not live there. Uh, obviously cats, rice and mice are like classic uh, tropes of supernatural, you know, witches have them, that type of thing. They're used in spells, they're a bit spooky, creepy, the way they walk and things. Um, so you could have many different small animals unable to survive on the island, because we know that they are as the island, right? Um, there's your answer, many different small animals were unable to survive on the island. <clears throat> Final one, right? So remember, you need to have two to get your two marks. There's four possible options here. Your job is to choose the two that you think are the best, and you are putting them into your own words. So, had you chosen, soil would be brought from Iron Hallow and put under haystacks or new houses to keep vermin away. You're thinking, right, I need to put it into my own words. Here's what I can do. Soil would be taken from um, and placed beneath to put off rats and rodents, right? So soil was often taken from Iron Hall to other places and placed beneath haystacks or houses to put off rats and other rodents. Um, hopefully you can see that that's changing the keywords overall, putting it into your own words and you have a, a solid answer, right? Um, now, that's that's that one explained, right? I'm just going to skip back a little bit to that original question, okay? You were to choose two beliefs held about that island that contributed to its supernatural representation, uh, reputation. What I've just done is shown you the four examples and broken them down, tried to explain how you're putting that into your own words. Bear in mind the hints and tips that I gave you earlier, you can um, take the opposite and put not before it. Um, I'll just go back to that page actually. There you go. So you can take the opposite of the word, so stupid smart, and put not before it. Another good one is think, what's another phrase that means the same as the word? How can I say that in a number of words? So instead of stupid, people do not know anything. Right? So here's your job now. What I'm going to show you now is, um, don't worry about all these changes. Right. What I'm going to show you now is a number of examples. You can pause have a go at doing the example. Here's what I suggest, right? So you can see question 1A in front of you. I would pause the video now, have a go at doing it, right? Good, you paused it, you're doing it, good. Now, if you've paused and you've had a go of doing that, obviously the next page is gonna give you a wee bit of help, right? Highlighting what you need to know. So if you were struggling with just doing it from a standard screen, I would always move to the second page, which has the words highlighted. Now. If you've now done it, right, so imagine you've paused this video, right, so you've paused, you've had a go at doing it, the next page is going to tell you the answers. Now, do not turn to this next page, do not do not press play on this video until you have had a go at doing the question, right. Once you've paused, once you've had a go of doing this question, you go to the answers, which I'm going to go to in three seconds. There we go. Right, so that is the answer to question 1A. Pause it, check it, compare it to what you've written. Now, there are a number of questions coming up. I think there's nine questions overall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove myself from the screen now. Right, bye-bye everybody. Um, and what I'm going to ask you to do is work through them. So what I'm going to do is I'll go to the next question. I'll pause for about three seconds, but your job is to pause the video. Have a go at doing it. Right, I've not moved yet. There we go. Have a go at doing it. Pause the video. If you are struggling to do this one, the next page is going to be the highlighted version. So have a go at doing it. If you can't do it, go to this page. Now, if you're on this page, it's because you found it too hard without the highlighted parts. If you're on this page, have a go at doing it before you check the answer, which will be the next page, which I'll go to in three seconds. And here are your answers.
pause it, check it, compare it to what you wrote, give yourself a score out of three. Next example, same thing, have a go of doing this. If it's too hard, go to the next page. This one actually does work, it doesn't have the highlighted parts. Um, same thing, have a go at doing it, pause the video, there's your answer. 3B, same thing, have a go, if you can't do it, there should be a wee bit extra help on this page, there's your answer. Apologies guys, the last few questions I've not given you the highlighted answers, so it's just having a go of doing it um, without the highlighted version. Have a go, pause the video. If you found that too difficult, here's your highlighted version. Have a go, pause the video. And here are your answers. Pause the video, compare it to what you've written, give yourself a score out of three. Okay, next question coming up. Right, have a go, pause the video. If you found that too hard, here is your highlighted version. Pause the video, have a go. There are your answers. Pause the video, compare this to your, your answer, give yourself a mark out of three. Okay, same thing, have a go, pause the video. If that was too difficult, have a go with the highlighted version, pause the video. Answers, here you go. Pause the video, compare your answers to these answers to your answers. Next one, have a go, pause the video. If that was too difficult, um, have a go of the highlighted version. Here you are, pause the video. And here are your answers. Give yourself a score out of two. Question eight, again, have a go, pause the video. If that was too difficult, here is the highlighted version, pause the video. And here are your answers. Pause the video, compare it to what you've written. Give yourself a mark out of two. Final one. Have a go, pause the video. If that was too difficult, here is a highlighted version that will make things a little bit easier for you. Have a go, pause the video. And here are the answers. Compare this to what you've written. Pause the video. And that is it, everybody. That is all you need to see for now. Um, hopefully that has been helpful. That was the first video I've made, so I appreciate there was maybe some technical hiccups there. Um, any questions, as always, send me an email. Talk to me in class. Good luck.